friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this cataract appears like posterior polar cataract let us observe this surgery this is the main incision at around 135 degree this is by a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and this is another side port on the right side of the main incision these side ports are about 3 clock hours away from the main incision now visco is injected into the anterior chamber and it is applied over the cornea for better visibility now a very important step capsulorexis in such cases the rexis should be about 5 mm so that if viscerent occurs we can place a multi-piece intraocular lens in the sulcus with optic capture so I make a capsular tag hold this capsular tag with the iterator forceps and I target 5 millimeter rexis yes this is a satisfactory rexis for this case and now this is hydro free dissection with an iris spatula just up to the equator we can do this hydro free dissection the capsule can be separated from the cortex just by this instrument so we will see later that this hydro free dissection helps a lot this is a totally unedited surgery now hydro delineation this is one the endonucleus and this is another one for nucleus and epinucleus so we have done two hydro delineations visco is injected into the anterior chamber and now the tip of the phaco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber this is Faro's from Oatley the vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury flow rate is 45 and ultrasonic power is only 40 percent and now I just aspirate the endonucleus and then the epinucleus and see how easily the cortex comes because I have done hydro free dissection and now I'm very careful to remove the lens matter yes the posterior polar cataract has come off and I hope PC is intact but I'm not sure yet so I inject visco stop irrigation fill up the entry chamber with visco and then come out and now I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for this superior part of the epinucleus or cortex the irrigation is from the right side port aspiration from the left and I'm trying to remove this lens matter just by irrigation and aspiration but it is a thick lens matter still I'm trying to remove it 
by this bimanual irrigation aspiration. At this time, I can see that the posti capsule is intact. However, I want to keep the antechamber formed. The central white portion will not be will not come, but the peripheral soft lens matter has come. And now I inject visco. In this case, I have selected Technis multipiece intraocular lens and I will implant the lens through a B cartridge. So I will enlarge this incision and before that, I am removing this cortex. But that white black I didn't try to remove. I inject visco, enlarge the main incision because I'm going to use a B cartridge, enlarge the main incision up to say three millimeter or three point one millimeter and now I just remove the central white plaque through the main incision. In this case I want to show how to fold a multipiece intraocular lens in the cartridge. This is some more cleaning of the under surface of the anterior capsular rim and a little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule. And now I inject visco. Uh, visco means 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now we are going to see how to load how to fold the Technis multipiece intraocular lens in the abort cartridge. You just place it like this, press over the lens, fold and now you place it in the injector the trailing haptic should come out like this now push the piston and turn clockwise and now this cartridge is placed inside the anterior chamber and now I hold the injector with the left hand screw out the lens clockwise and as the lens comes out the cartridge is rotated anti-clockwise so that the lens comes out like this some more visco over the optic now I take a Macpherson's forceps and place the lens in the capsular bag. We can see the lens, optic of the lens has been covered all around by the rexis margin. So this is an ideal size rexis of about 5 millimeter.
and now this is cleaning of the viscoelastic substance in this video we have seen hydro free dissection with an iris spatula and we have seen that it has been very helpful while we try to remove the epinuclear sheet from all around most of the time these cataracts which we think are posterior polar cataracts are actually posterior subcapsular cataracts like this case this is irrigation by manual irri uh, irrigation probe or by manual IA irrigating the capsular bag now behind the eye well irrigating the anterior chamber and now using irrigation and aspiration together if we do these maneuvers 100% visco cleaning is possible and the patients don't develop visco induced increase of intraocular pressure this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these side ports now we are towards the end of the surgery this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is nicely formed and then with the help of a cotton tipped Jensen bar the integrity of the wounds are checked there is no leakage from any site and then the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in managing your posterior polar cataracts